What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we're going to give you our top 10 players for Alabama for the upcoming 2021 college football season. When we talk about top 10 players, we're talking about the 10 players that will have the biggest impact for this team. Uh, so let's get right to it here and we're going to count them down starting with number 10. And I'll tell you what, with Alabama, you, you could put more than 10 players on this list because this team is absolutely loaded every single year. This year is no different. Uh, there were definitely some guys that I considered that didn't quite make the cut. But we did have to, you know, eventually narrow this thing down to 10 players. So we start with number 10. That is Brian Robinson Jr. Last year he had 483 yards rushing, 5.3 yards per carry, six touchdowns, and that was really as the backup, of course, behind Najee Harris. He figures to be the go-to guy for Alabama this year, but I think what's going to keep him from having just a huge season is is the fact that they've got so many backs. This team has a stable of backs, and you're going to see a lot of guys play this year. I think he's going to be the number one player for them. He'll get the most carries, but I don't know that he's going to get a significant amount of carries higher than the other guys. So that's why only at number 10, you know, normally Alabama's running back would, would be a little bit higher on this list, but they've just got so many guys this year. Uh, Brian Robinson, though, I think will have an impact, and I've got him at number 10. Number nine is Christian Harris at linebacker. Last season had 79 tackles, seven tackles for loss, four and a half sacks, also had an interception. Kind of the leader for them uh, at that linebacker unit. He's a veteran guy and just kind of, I think he's, he's the guy that will become the leader of that linebacker unit. Not necessarily their best player, not their best linebacker, I should say, because we have another linebacker coming up, but he is going to be that, that guy that's very important, the leader for them. And uh, Christian Harris there at number nine leads a group of just ridiculous linebackers. This is, I think, easily the best group of linebackers in all of college football. When you look at their entire unit, uh, they're absolutely loaded. And again, Christian Harris, I think, kind of going to be the leader of that unit. Number eight is Jalil Billingsley at tight end or maybe wide receiver. How do they use him? Could he potentially be the next Kyle Pitts type player? I think he might be. And if he's that kind of player, he's going to probably be a little bit higher on this list at the end of the season. Um, but you look at all that they lost at wide receiver, I think he's the guy that's going to have to, to really step up for them, can play tight end, can line out wide, he can play wide receiver, uh, really just a versatile player. And again, I think he kind of fits that mold of Kyle Pitts. Uh, he's not going to be as good as Kyle Pitts, I don't think, but I think he's still going to be a big-time matchup problem for defenses, and I think he's going to be a guy they go to a lot this year. Only had 18 catches last year, 287 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, needs to improve. You know, if, if he was just going to be a straight-up tight end, would need to improve as a blocker just a little bit. Uh, but just as a pass catcher, I think he's going to be really big for them. And I've got Jalil Billingsley at number eight. Number seven, at safety, it's Jordan Battle. Last season had 66 tackles, also had an interception, uh, broke up four passes. Uh, this is a guy that is going to be one of the leaders for them in the secondary. And you just look at the secondary. They're just they're loaded there as well. They lose Patrick Sertain. That's a that's a big loss, but they that's really about it. Everyone else coming back, and they're really going to be loaded up there in the secondary. Uh, this Alabama defense has a chance to be you know, one of those great defenses like they've had in the past. I really believe that. And if you, you put to an offense with that, an offense that's really productive for them, uh, this team, it once again, becomes one of the favorites to win a national championship this year. Uh, but, yeah, they're loaded at safety. You got Jordan Battle. You got DeMarco Hellams. You got Christian Story. Daniel Wright is a guy that I consider for this list. Uh, they're really, really just loaded there at that safety position. Um, let's go to number six now. Number six is Evan Neal on the offensive line. He's a two-year starter. Started pretty much every game the last couple of years. He was a freshman All-American in 2019. Now he's considered to probably be a maybe a first team all american uh nationally i think he's a guy that is going to probably wind up pretty high in the nfl draft uh the leader for them up front very very big for them on the offensive line an offensive line that does have some guys to replace uh, ekior also will be back so he's another guy that'll be a, a big leader for them up front but watch for evan Neal. i think he's the best offensive lineman on this team and we've got him at number six Number five is Josh Joe. We go back to the secondary. All right, so who is going to step up for Patrick Sertan? I think it will be Josh Joe. I think he's that next guy. He's a veteran. Uh, last season had 55. That's a lot of tackles for a cornerback, by the way. 55 tackles, two forced fumbles, two and a half tackles for loss. Uh, broke up 11 passes, defended 11 passes last season. Uh, just a guy that was really all over the field. 
Um, and I think he's going to be big for them this year. So look for him to be that number one cornerback in 2021. Let's go to number four. That's Bryce Young. It's the quarterback here. Uh, number one dual threat quarterback in the 2020 class last season. Didn't really play any any significant uh, playing time. But you just saw him in the spring game. He had command of this offense. Uh, you, you know the arm is there. We're talking about a, a, one of the most talented guys coming out of high school, like I just said. Uh, I guess the only concern I would have about Bryce Young is is he's kind of small. So how's he going to do when he gets hit several times in a game? That would really be your only question mark. But I, I've seen enough already to know that he has a chance to be a superstar, that he's going to be really good. Uh, I don't think there's really any chance of him being a bust at quarterback for Alabama. And, again, he's going to be very important, important obviously. And he's the quarterback, so obviously he's very important. Uh, but I think he's going to be their fourth best player this year. Uh, Bryce Young at quarterback. Number three is going to be Malachi Moore in the secondary, playing that star position, a guy that is really versatile all over the field. He had 44 tackles last year, three interceptions, defended six passes, four tackles for loss, had a forced fumble, had a fumble recovery. Uh, again, it's a guy that's very versatile all over the field. He can come up, he can tackle, he can cover in the, in the secondary. And he was just a freshman last season. So, again, this is a guy that has a chance to be I think a superstar player for Alabama this year might be their best defender. We're going to put one guy ahead of him, but um, I think he could be in that conversation. Malachi Moore, big-time player for Alabama in the secondary. Number two is John Mechie the third Had 55 catches last year, 916 yards receiving, 16.7 yards per catch, six touchdowns. Uh, he's going to be their go-to receiver this year. I don't think there's really any question about that. Demonte Smith is gone. Jalen Waddle is gone. Obviously, you know he didn't play the entire year last year, but Mechie was really, really big for Alabama last season. Uh, wound up being because Waddle didn't play the entire year. Mechie was actually their number two receiver last season. Number two in catches. Number two in yards. Uh, also number two in touchdowns with the six touchdowns. And he averaged more yards per catch than even Devontae Smith last season. So this is a guy that will be that next superstar wide receiver, in my opinion. Uh, will he be Devontae Smith good? I don't know, but he's got the athleticism. He's got a lot of speed. Uh, he's just a very talented player, and I think he has a chance to be one of the top receivers in all of college football. Watch out for John Mechie the third. I think he'll be their number one offensive player, but their best player, I think, is going to come on the defensive side of the ball, and that is Will Anderson Jr., Linebacker, 52 tackles last season, 10 and a half tackles for loss, seven sacks. He was a freshman All-American. I think he's going to be a first-team All-American this year. Just a dominant pass rusher. Uh, I mean, he's just your your perfect edge, edge guy there at linebacker. And I expect him to have another big-time year this year. I think he's going to be the best player on this Alabama team, on the entire team. And like I said, I'm predicting that he will be a first-team All-American this season. Will Anderson, in my opinion, the best player for Alabama in 2021. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with my list? Who do you think maybe should have made the list that I left off? Who do I have too high? Who do I have too low? Always like to get your feedback. Uh, so give us your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you for watching.